Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see uh, one more uh, technology, the latest technology in computer science that is a DevOps. So you might be listening about these technology these days about DevOps, right? So in today's session we will see the complete introduction of DevOps, what exactly DevOps means, right? So before going to this particular DevOps, let me tell you about the software development life cycle so that is sdlc right so which we call it as a software development life cycle software development life cycle that means in order to develop any software so we have to carry out this into different phases, right? Like planning, next uh, design, development, testing, deployment, maintenance or operate monitoring right so these are the phases we have to follow for any kind of software development right so first we have to plan for the requirements and we have to get the requirements from the customer we have to prioritize that requirements and we have to design the requirements and next we have to start coding that means the conversion of these diagrammatic requirements to the machine understandable language and then we have to perform the texting testing so that will be done in different ways right so and after the the deployment so uh, deploying the software into the production systems and maintenance so uh, the maintaining the reliability efficiency and keeps on monitoring the okay in order to uh, accommodate the errors so we have to keep on monitoring for, for further releases also right so these are the different phases that are being involved in software development life cycle so these phases were divided into two categories actually two different people will do these things right so all these things will be done by development team all these things will be done by a development team and all these things will be done by operations team operations team right so usually you can say this development team will be done by the software developers and this operations team will be done by the system admins so that means whatever the uh, product delivered by this development team to the uh, operations team and this team will be deploying the same software into the production environment so that means the end user environment so the product will be designed and developed and tested here and that will be moved to operations team and here the, the deployment maintenance and monitoring will be done and again the feedback will be sent to this de development team so this is the feedback that means if there are any problems if there are any errors occur during the deployment or maintenance or monitoring the complete feedback will be sent to the development team so that this development team have to wait until they receive the feedback from the operations team so then whatever the feedback received by the operations team that should be accommodated in the code by the development team again the development team will be sending to the operations team the code so again they do the process and this process will give a delay time delay okay there will be a lot of time delay so this development team has to wait until they get the feedback and once they get the feedback again they have to this operations team have to wait until the development team accommodate the changes given in the feedback in the software so this gives a completely delay in uh, release okay 
say delay in release a product release delay in product release so one simple example if the development team have designed and uh, developed a software in windows environment in windows environment okay in windows environment and if the code has been sent to the operations team in the deployment if this code has to be deployed in linux environment right in the linux environment obviously that can, that may not be suitable for the linux environment that means if the de development environment is different and the production environment is different so that particular feedback will be given to the development team so that they have to maintain the stability to that code to run in any kind of environment and they have to send back to the operations team so this happens with a delay delay in release because there, there will be a lot of waiting time okay so in order to avoid this thing there is a collaboration between the development team and operations team so they now they will work together to release the product quickly so now the development team and operations team will be working collaboratively for the product release so that's why we can say it as dev and ops so that's why we call it as a dev ops so the name it's in the name itself indicates it's a collaboration between development team and the operations team so here both the teams will be collaboratively working on the product so that there will be no delay in any product release so if both are having the communication or a collaboration so this environment will be listed before so that the production or the development will be done in the linux environment itself without going with the windows environment so this kind of collaboration will be there between the dev development team and the operation team so that's why we call it as a uh, devops devops right now hope you understood this now what are the design principles what are the design principles of devops design principles so the first and foremost design principle just now we have seen that is a collaboration collaboration so collaboration or a communication so what is collaboration this collaboration will be between the dev team and operations team there will be a collaboration or a communication between them so that it will get the good product release and fast delivery that is the most important there will be no delay in the product delivery there will be no delay in the product delivery right so there will be a fast delivery and obviously quality high quality high quality so whenever the problems arise immediately they will be get solved because both the teams will be involving in this uh, production right so high quality and of obviously high efficiency so more efficient efficiency the code will be efficient okay and fast deployment fast deployment so this is a one uh, one place where the product can, will be delayed right so the deployment will be get delayed if if the development team will be working uh, uh, other than the operations team definitely the deployment will take much time so now in this devops case if both the in uh, development team and the operation team were working together immediately the development will become so the deployment will become very easier and it will be very fast and automation automation that means for every phase we will be using a different tools there are a lot of tools in the devops so the final the complete automation will be there the process complete process will be done with the help of tools right so a lot of tools will be available and with the help of those tools this devops will be working 
right so these are the design principles of devops so collaboration fast delivery high quality efficiency fast deployment and full automation with the tools now we will see the representation of devops hope you might be seen the representation of devops right so plan and from plan it will be coding it will be build it will be test after that it will go with the release it will go with the release and then here it will be deployment deployment and from the deployment operate or maintain and after operate monitor monitor so you can see this is the process from this and it will be going like this so this is see these all phases will be calling it as a dev development team and these phases we call it as an operating team so devops right so this is a release this is a release this is a release and this portion this portion is nothing but the integration integration that means a combination or combining the devop dev development team and the operations team so as we said that so you can see the symbol which is similar to the infinity symbol infinity symbol right this is similar to our infinity symbol so this infinity symbol means it is a continuous improvement it's a continuous that that implies it is a continuous right so continuous improvement so if we go with the devops technology there will be a continuous improvement in the product so there will be a lot of releases right for after every release we will take the feedback from the customer and again we will plan code build test and etc etc and see just now we have seen this is completely automation for every phase for every work or for every process we are going to use a different tools there are a lot of tools in devops see coming to the planning so normal uh, they collect the requirements from the customers all the stakeholders not only the customer all the stakeholders and then the code so code will be done by using git or github or jira so these are the tools we can use for coding phase so we can collaborate the code from a multiple developers and coming to the building so building means just like uh, compiling and making ready of executable files right so for building we are going to use a maven technology maven right so these are only few like maven there will be a more number of tools for the, for applying this building phase and coming to the test the most popular test is selenium and junit so these are the two different tools we can use the testing functional testing right and coming to the deployment so if you are using cloud we can also go with the aws and similarly a docker so all these things we can use for deployment the process of deployment and for operator or maintenance you can go with ansible ansible kubernetes kubernetes so you might be li uh, listening to these words kubernetes docker uh, selenium okay git github and everything you have you might be listening to these kind of tools right so we'll see all the tools one by one in our further sessions right so this is just an introduction to the devops and coming to the monitor it's nagios is one tool we can use for continuous monitoring continuous monitoring right and for this integration we can use the jenkins jenkins you might be also listening about this word jenkins jenkins is a tool which is integrated between the development team and the operations team right so these are the different tools so i'll i'll circle the tool names so that you need not be uh, confused among these names right ansible kubernetes aws and docker all these circular i mean the words 
which has been circled were the tools used in DevOps. So, and once again, I'm saying that the DevOps representation, look at the representation that is similar to our infinity symbol. That means it's a continuous improvement. So the benefits of this DevOps. So just now we have seen like uh, uh, principles. So fast delivery will be there. Okay, because the integration between development team and the operations team and fast deployment will be there and uh, automation, complete automation is there and efficiency will be more and uh, frequent releases will be there and correcting the requirements from the customer will be there, low risk mitigations will be there. So because both the teams will be working together. So this is a complete information about introduction to DevOps. So these after coming to these DevOps, all these phases has been, so you can see the planning, coding, building, testing, deployment, operate, monitor, all these are the normal software development life cycle, the phases of development life cycle. So here, after coming to the DevOps, all this becomes continuous. So continuous integration continuous testing continuous delivery continuous development so the phases has been changed to these names. That means everything is a continuous. Everything is a continuous. So continuous development will be there, right? So a product can be released. I mean, a product can be um, produced with a multiple releases, completed with a multiple releases. So continuous development will be there. And continuous integration will be there. So integration means nothing but between the development team and the operation team. And continuous testing will be there, right? and also the continuous delivery will be there. So usually this will be called as CI-CD, right? In the DevOps, we'll call it as a CI-CD, continuous integration and continuous deployment. Integrate and deploy, right? So hope you understood about the introduction to DevOps, right? So in our further sessions, we'll, we'll see one by one. So how we can use uh, these tools like Git, GitHub or uh, Jenkins or Kubernetes, Docker. So all these things we will see one by one in our further sessions. So hope you enjoyed the session. And if you like my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.